Good morning guys and welcome back. So if you guys have seen it, there's a new concept um, Jeep going around the internet at the moment and some people are very indifferent about it. Um, a lot of people will think it's completely ugly, it's never going to hit the market, it's not realistic at all and other people absolutely love it. Um, with the Jeep um, Gladiator just on the market uh, last year, um, a lot of people are moving to that for overland bulls and stuff just because the space of that being able to have the full Massive tray at the back, you can deck it out with whatever you want, sleeping accommodation stuff. And a lot of people hanging around where they live, um, exploring their home states and stuff like that. A lot of people are moving towards uh, vans, um, stuff, stuff we can do full cutout with bed, shower, make stuff um, a lot more comfortable for either overlanding or just camping trips in general. And that's why the Gladiator is a good thing, you've got all that extra space um, over a JK and the JLs. So this concept um, has hit the internet and people were like, wow. They are either shocked about it, they're amazed, they're saying they want one, or it's absolutely disgusting. Um, it's supposed to be a concept between the Jeep Wrangler JL um, and a Volkswagen, um, like beat, uh, Volkswagen uh, van, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, Jeep did have like a van back in like the 1950s and 1960s. That was really cool, um, and then Jeep brought out a concept um, of that with the JK. With the JK and with the JK in about 2015, and that looked pretty cool. It had all the JK um, bells and whistles. I think that had the drivetrain of the JK as well, and it just had the older features and stuff like that, which was really cool. Um, and I think this new Wrangler, they're calling it um, the Van Wrangler, um, is sort of like that as well. And I think a lot of people, because they are moving to that van um, style for overlanding, they're not really going towards uh, Wranglers. One, you can keep them out, uh, full kitchens, full beds, showers, um, you can sleep multiple people in them. You don't actually have to get out of the the van at all, um, where traditional tent, um, camping, tenting, or even towing a trailer, you get get out, you got set up time and all that sort of stuff. And that's, um, I can see why people are doing that. So is there a market for the Vangler? Let me know in the comments below if you guys like it, hate it. I've seen a few different comments about it. Um, one of my mate Justin said that it looks like a looks like a Wrangler mixed with a Mitsubishi um, Delica. If you guys don't have a Delica where you are, I'll leave a little photo just here so you guys can check that out and the concept of it and see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, um, whether it looks like the Wrangler and the Delica, what two vehicles you think it looks like, would you own one, would, what price would it even be on it? I think um, the selling factor for that, if it actually did come to market, which motor would be in it, if it had the um, diesel, which we don't get the diesel um, in Australia in the JL, but in uh, Canada and America, you guys get the, I don't know about America, maybe not America, but in Canada, I know KC250 um, has a Wrangler with the uh, diesel motor in it. If that Wrangler was paired with the diesel motor, man, I, I reckon, regardless of how it looks to some people, I think those things would absolutely fly off the shelf. Um, you got solid front and rear axles, I'm sure if you've got a Rubicon, Bangler, that's going to be a thing. Um, it's going to be have full locking gears, down to 44s, um, and all that sort of good stuff. So that'd be one unstoppable van, um, and you've got all that room if you... I mean, a lot of people get vans um, if they've got multiple kids, um, and a Wrangler isn't really practical, they get like a Honda Odyssey or something like that. So maybe a Wrangler would be a cool overland vehicle for one, you could cut out the whole um, thing, it's got solid axles for one, it'd be unstoppable off-road too. Um, it could be awesome for uh, picking the kids up from school if you've got four or five kids. Um, I think it's got at least three rows of seat uh, seats um, in it, so plenty of room, um, plus the boot space as well that you could probably fit another row of seats, so it's, it could be an awesome dad wagon. Yeah. This one of those is a dad wagon. So let me know, um, there's not a lot of information out about them. What It's pretty much just a concept at this point, but I just want to get you guys' opinions of what your um, thoughts are. My thoughts are, um, if it did hit the market, one, it needs to have a diesel motor in it, as I said before. And I think it'd be pretty cool. It'd be a pretty cool um, thing to build up. It'd be something different, um, something really different um, compared to all the other vans. Because around here in Australia, I think um, a lot of vans um, are getting dominated by the Volkswagen. Volkswagen, uh, Audi and Mercedes uh, vans are dominating. Toyota High Ace in New Zealand are probably the biggest vans you can get, uh, which are pretty cool. Um, I think Peugeot makes some pretty cool vans as well. So if a Wrangler van hit the market from Jeep, especially if it had the solid front and rear axle, would, would be insane. Uh, so I'm all for it. It's not the prettiest of vehicles if you had to remove the doors um, hard top so you can remove the hard top as well 
Um, other than that, there's not much information about them. Um, as you can see, these photos fluffing past. Um, you've got the tube doors on there as well. Um, a few different concepts would be insane. Those for exploration vehicles, um, for anything really. Um, I know a lot of people use vehicles like that, not really like the Vangler, because it's not a thing, but uh, a lot of people use vehicles like that if they're storm chasing, so that could be an awesome storm chasing thing. Um, but as more information comes to light about them, um, I'd be keen to find out more information and also share it with you guys as well. But as I said, fuck, I'd be awesome. I'd be keen on buying one. Um, heaps of room. I'd say it'd be pretty practical. Don't know what it'd be like to drive because the wheels are directly underneath you. Um, so driving something like that off-road would be a different experience. Um, definitely just where the front axle and stuff is set up to where the front of the vehicle is, it would feel a lot different, um, especially off-road. But it's going to be pretty damn awesome. I'm all for it. Um, I really hope it's not just a concept and it's going to come to market as well. Probably won't get them in Australia. We never get anything cool in Australia. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if you guys like this video, smash the like button. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button as well. Um, as I said in the last video, we were supposed to be going out to Glasshouse Mountains for a full drive run. Uh, meet up with some people, but because of Brisbane got locked down again, um, and a lot of people just aren't keen to do, you can't have more than 20 people in a group, group meet up, but you can go to a restaurant with more than 20 people anyway. Um, I think they've just cancelled it for this month and they're going to um, try and kick it off again in uh, February as well. So we're holding up for that. So I might either do a run out by myself to Glasshouse Mountains, um, get some content out and stuff like that and just see what it's like. I haven't been out the Glasshouse Mountains before. Uh, check it out, uh, see what it's like. Um, but really want to know you guys' thoughts about the Vangler, uh, what you guys think. Would it be cool to build one? Would it be cool to have? Um, and do you guys like the concept? Do you think it's ugly? Do you think it's awesome? A lot of people have different tastes. A lot of people's tastes are very different. So that's pretty much it for today guys. If you liked this video, smash the like button and subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.